Hey boys, welcome back to the actual very last, very last team we're going to be looking at. I was scrolling through to see how many we got left and West Tigers is the last one, so... You know what, let's get this underway. Lineup, we got James Tedesco at fullback. 82. I feel like... I feel like that's a bit low, honestly. Um, he's had a lot of injuries. And he hasn't stayed on the field that long, but, you know, he's shown a lot. He's shown a lot of potential, a lot of, and not just potential, like, he's put that into play a lot of games. Like, he's very, very damaging runner, um, very elusive, very quick, very agile. I'd have him, like, mid, mid-80s, possibly high-80s, you know. He's not one of the best fullbacks going around at, at the moment, but he's... He, he's obviously, if he can stay on the field for a good couple of seasons, he's obviously going to be on that top echelon of fullbacks. Then we got Kevin Naguama with a 79. And I feel like this is a touch low as well. You know, he's a good winger. Uh, I can understand why he's 79 because he... Tigers is probably the main team that he's played for. You know, he played for Knights, I think, last year. And he played... A couple of games. He didn't play very many. Uh, but he's played really good for the Tigers this year. Honestly, I'd probably only have him at low 80s. So 79 isn't too bad. He's a fast. He's very fast. Like, I don't know if his defense is that good. And maybe his reading of the play isn't that amazing. But, you know, he's a try scorer. And he's pretty good at it. So, you know, it's probably about right. Maybe low 80s. But, yeah. Tim Simona, 81. Too low. Tim Simona, one of my favorite players. Like, I I always love players like this because I watch them... I watch a lot of Queensland Cup. The second tier competition, as you'd say. And it's actually really... It's a really good competition. And you get heaps of players like Tim Simona. I, I used to watch this guy for East Tigers. He used to play and he used to absolutely dominate and... You know, I always picked this guy to make it in first grade. Well, I, I always hoped he would. I knew he had the talent and potential and the ability to do it. But, you know, not always, not always, it doesn't always pan out that way. There's plenty of amazing players in the lower grade comps. But Tim Simona, he got a chance with the Tigers and he's been, he's been their strike outside back for the last couple of years now. I mean, without him in the side, they look way less threatening. I mean, yeah, if he's not playing, <laughs> they're not going to get nearly as many points. He's just, he can just produce a lot of magic plays. Should be high, should be like high 80s in my opinion. Extremely good center. Chris Lawrence, 80. I mean, it's weird because Chris Lawrence, I would have used to think this is way too low. He was like, I thought he was like one of the best centers running around, but honestly, it must have been since that dislocated hip he suffered, that he just has not been anywhere near as as good as what he used to be. Like, I don't know, he just... <laughs> they read a stat out um, Friday night's game that apparently he hadn't scored in like 18 games or something like that. I think it was 18. You know, and it doesn't surprise me. He just, he seems to have lost all his pace, all his agility. And, yeah, he just, I don't know, he's lost a lot of form. Whether, I don't know if he's going to bring it back either, because he's, he's getting a bit old now, so. Honestly, it's sort of the decline of Chris Lawrence, which is sad. He was, he was always one of my favorite players. He was always a good hitter, and he's still a good defender, but he's just, a, his attack has gone down, downhill badly. So, 80 is probably pretty fair. Then we got Pat Richards, 81. And I feel like this is pr pretty accurate as well. I mean, Richards gets talked up a bit. And he's a solid winger, you know. But he does get talked up a lot because he does some pretty good kicks. You know, he's a goal kicker. He's kicked a lot of field goals and just a big kicker in general. He's just got a massive kick. Um, But as a winger goes, I don't think he's that good. He's good, like he's pretty decent. You'd have him in most sides. He'd be a wing. He'd be your starting winger, but 
like they're talking him up. He's a potential New South Wales Origin player. Like I think, like as a Queenslander, I'd love to see him play because I don't think he's, I don't think he's one of the New South Wales best. But yeah, I mean he's solid. He's solid and he does some pretty good runs because he's a big winger. But I'd say 81 is pretty fair. Then we got Mitchell Moses, 72. I think this is extremely fair. Maybe, uh, I'd say it's fair, honestly. It does seem pretty low, but I don't know. I haven't really ever seen that much from Mitchell Moses. I don't think his defense is that good, and I don't know. I, I don't think his attack is that amazing. You know, when they're all gelling, when Brooks, Moses, Tedesco are all firing, yeah, they can all look really good, but when one of them's off, then they all seem to fall as well. And I think Moses, you know, he could turn he could turn into a great player. I mean, he's still so young. He must be only like 19. I feel like he's only 18. I'm not too sure. He might be like 18, maybe 20, but he's still so young that he's got a lot of, a lot of developing to do. I think he's going to be one of the better 5'8s halfbacks running around, but at the moment, I think 72 is pretty fair. Then we got Luke Brooks, 80. <laughs> I gotta say, that's pretty fair as well. I don't know. Again, pretty much the same boat as Moses. I do think Brooks is a bit more experienced and a bit more mature at the moment, but I still think his defense is pretty average at best. And, you know, he can go, he can't, he can do some special plays, but he does not control the game like a halfback should. Whether that means he's more of a 5'8", I don't know, but he just doesn't seem to control the game. You know, if the Tigers are losing, I it's hard to see them come back. And if they're in front, a lot of times teams will will fight will fight back and do a comeback on them because they seem to lose their way, they don't know how to play, but yeah, I think 80 is pretty fair. Then we got Aaron Woods, 80, and I don't know, I, it's probably about right. I mean, talk about it again, the front rolls in this game, the top ones are getting 83, 84. Aaron Woods, you'd probably, it's probably a touch low. He's probably one of the best front rollers running around at the moment. I'm not a fan of his, but he is one of the better front rollers. So he probably should be like 83. Then we got Robbie Farrow, 92. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what the other dummy halves were rated. Uh, I, I vaguely remember Smith was like 94. Seguiara was like 91. And a couple others were 90. But Robbie Farrow, you'd probably say, is the second best in the game behind Smith. So 92 is probably fair. I still think Smith should have been a bit higher. But 92 is probably fair. I mean, without Farrow, the Tigers, the Tigers would lose a hell of a lot more games. With like, Lou, without Robbie's leadership and the, him controlling them around the field, Luke Brooks and Moses would really struggle, in my opinion. So, 92 is fair. Keith Galloway, 80, too damn high. <laughs> Keith Galloway, I don't know. I don't think he's that amazing. He does the odd good run and. Phil Gould, for some reason, loves him. I don't know. I guess because he's got red hair. Jesus. It's pretty fucking annoying, though. But, yeah. Keith Galloway, too high. Don't think he's that good. Curtis Sirinan. Too high. This is another guy just because of his last name, Sirinan. I mean, people just assume that he has to be a great player. I don't think he's that good. He's a fringe back row in my team, at best. At best, I'd have him on the bench. I don't think he's starting back row at all. Um, yeah, don't think he's that good. I'd have him like mid 70s. Then we got Soaso Su, who I actually think is pretty decent. I think, yeah, I think he's a pretty good player. I I think this is a bit low. I'd have him like high 70s, possibly low 80s. But yeah, Su is a pretty pretty damaging ball runner. And he has a, he's got a pretty good he's got a pretty good passing game. Like I've seen a lot of games where he he has a nice little offload, a nice little pass before the line. So yeah, I think he's got a lot of a lot of talent. 
Then we got Martin to power. 81 is way too low. I really like to power. You know, sometimes he annoys me with his fucking carry on in games. Like, he, he seems to carry on a bit, but when he just plays the game. Like, just watching him, like, his defense, his attack, like, he is a, he is a monster. Like, he is an absolute tank. He's a beast. I love watching him play. He's so damaging. Should be, like, I don't know. I think he's one of the best back rowers running around easy, without doubt. I'd have him, like, nearly 90. Yeah, just a very damaging player. Then we got Dean Hallitau. Who's like a journeyman, you know? He's gone. He's gone to a lot of clubs. He's played a lot of positions. 72 is too low. I still like Halitel's play. You know, he's a he 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 doesn't get many opportunities now at the Tigers for some reason. Like he's in their side most of the times on the bench, but they don't seem to use him very much. Like I don't know, but I've always liked him as a player. He can fill like any role. He's sort of like uh, Mitchell Orbison. He's, he's a good defender. He's a good hole runner. I think he should be like high 70s. Again, he's probably a bit unlucky. He's so versatile that he hasn't secured a position that teams sign him to play lock or teams sign him to play second row. He's sort of like, if a team needs a backup player, they'll they'll get the hell out of So, yeah. Then we got Matthew Lodge, who haven't seen much of. But I think 68 is pretty fair. The games I have seen him, I don't know. He doesn't seem that amazing. He doesn't, I don't know. He doesn't seem to have that much talent. He's a big fella though. And he, you know, he gets a, makes a few, few good meters here and there. But yeah, I think 68 is pretty fair. Then we got Brendan Zanti. Or, yeah, you know, I think it's Santi, Zanti. Haven't really seen much of him. Can't really comment. Uh, this doesn't look like they're benched at all, though. I'm trying to think who's on the bench. Son of Manafagai? <laughs> Son of Manafagai, I think. I know, I think he plays on the bench, and he's a he's a big fella. Uh, I think he's got a lot of developing to do. Because he, he seems to get pretty tired pretty quickly. His fitness doesn't seem that good, but... He's got a bit of talent. He's got a bit of potential, I think. I'd probably have him like mid 70s, you know. He'd, he's a pretty powerful fella. I'm just trying to think. I'm not going to go through all this, but yeah. But yeah, that's this is the last team. Last team we're doing. So let's look at the jerseys. I've always liked the Tigers jerseys. Their heritage jersey is a lot better than their their newer jerseys, honestly. I like the orange. I like the orange, but yeah, that's that's the team's fan hub edition done and dusted. Hopefully, there's some new updates, new info. I mean, when like new info is released, I will be bringing it out as soon as possible. But yeah, that's all we pretty much got in the meantime. So, really appreciate the support on these these videos. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.